Hi, I'm standing in an almost empty Project Wonderland world, ready to prepare the space for an upcoming customer briefing. First, I'll drag and drop some slides from my desktop, selecting the Slide Spreader tool from the list of options for displaying PDF documents. Now I can select among several layouts, finding one that works best for the space. Next, I'll add a Firefox browser for the user interface training. I'll take control of the application, and I'll set it to the storage homepage for now. Since one of the architects is able to come to the briefing, I'll add a few whiteboards for him to use. This area could use one more seat to make it look more inviting. I'll drop in a model I found in the Google 3D Warehouse. I can right-click to edit the object. Using the Resize tool, I'll enlarge the seat to match the other one. and move it into place. All that's left to do is set up the slideshow viewer. I'll enter a URL to a PDF document. Once the slides open, I'll use the tool palette to navigate to the first slide. The radio on the table has audio capabilities applied to it. I'll select play to turn on some background music, which we can turn off once the presentations start. Hi everyone. Today Over here, a member of the sales team is giving a presentation to some customers. Talk a bit about the agenda. We're going to go through some various systems and directions we've taken in the marketplace. Joe, you had a quick question? Excuse me, Kevin, are you going to address digital content? All right, so I'm here to answer questions about the uh, Amber Road family of disc arrays. At the same time, members of the customer's IT staff are having a technical discussion with the storage architect. Oh, Let me know when that's to make the discussion more concrete, one of the customers drops in a diagram of their data center. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this looks like a very typical data center, which is a great... So Later, I join the conversation at the whiteboard, so, taking uh, control of this multi-user application uh -huh. and drawing so at the same time as the other participants. Okay. And, um, these lines represent the firewalls between the various uh, network protocols and then... When it's time for the training, the groups merge for a live demonstration of the storage administration console running in a Firefox window. Hi everyone, and welcome to this part of the training. Let's go up into the configuration menu. Here you can see all the elements, system settings, and capabilities inside the Amber Road storage stack. Uh, yes, Nicole, you have a question? Miriam and I are just going to excuse ourselves. Sure, there's a soundproof area just in the pavilion right behind you. Okay, thanks, we'll head there. So, now let's take a look at the analytics. The pavilion has been made soundproof by applying a cone of silence to it. So what'd you think? I like it, but I'd like to do some more passive. Okay, so to call John, I click on the in-world telephone and enter his name and his number, and now I can dial out to him. Hello? Hey John, I'm going to join you to the world. Okay. Hi, John. Oh, hi, Joe. So during the meeting, if I want to have a co private conversation with John, I can click on his orb and then click on the take icon and take him with me. Now we can go off and find a quiet place to talk. Okay, while well, Nicole and John are talking, I'd like to at most a couple seconds. Worth now I can leave John exactly here to join this conversation. Hi, Chris and Jeff. Hey, John. Do you have a moment to talk about architecture? Yeah, yeah, I think I've yeah, got some pretty yeah, good ones. Did, did. Each of us finds images in our browser or on our desktop to drop into the world to share with the group. All items that people uh, create while standing on the, the pad become sailboats. associated with the pad. Oh, I like that. Is that what it is? 
you know, the repetition, I think, says something. To make space for more brainstorming, we can use the tools to move the pad plus all the images out of the way. On a new pad, we can each generate some ideas using sticky notes. See, I put down awesome, full functionality, and elite. Hmm, how would you capture that in a logo? This simple world features a space in which faculty have a private, secure building and students and others have access only to the exterior. Only faculty can see the inner shell of the building. Examining the properties reveals that the cone of silence, container, and security properties have all been applied. Objects created within the building inherit all the security properties. When Sam, a student, logs in, this is his view of the world. Notice that the doors to the building are not open. Even if Sam turns off collision and walks through the closed doors, he does not see the interior of the building or hear any conversation taking place there. Using the component palette, I can insert an audio recorder. After moving it onto the conference table, I can press record to test it out. Preliminary meeting of the conference committee. The green button plays back the recording. Preliminary meeting of the conference committee. And you can see what the camera can see. Um, I'm going to start recording and this will uh, create a movie which uh, hopefully you'll see later. So the first thing that happens is that I, it starts recording. I can move my avatar in front of the camera so uh, I can figure out what my position is using the HUD control panel and I can also put myself in shot. I can arrange to ensure that other avatars that are with me are in shot. I can move around. I can just leave the recording going.